Good morning, welcome back to BT. That in at the Forks has got a brand new addition right down the bottom, a brand new restaurant called Smith. And that's where our buddy Drew Coe's up today. He's been uh, teasing us with the menu, but we stopped mm -hmm. first at the bar for a quick cocktail. Morning, Drew. Good morning, guys. When the, the lounge is so inviting as the one that is here, you've got to stop by and try a couple things on the menu. And there's going to be some fantastic things that you just won't find anywhere else. I'd like to introduce you to Jason Colatruglio. Good morning. Morning. Uh, you're the bar manager here and you've promised us an unforgettable experience. What are you going to be making for us today? Uh, we're going to be doing one of our signature cocktails, uh, Smoke Negroni. Okay. Um, and this thing is quite the cocktail and you can tell because one of the interesting features of it starts with the ice. Yes. Tell me how this works. Uh, so what we do is we have a smoked ice cube. Um, how we prepare the smoked ice cube is we do it in a smoker. Uh, we take a large ice cube, we put it inside a smoker, we let it smoke down until it's to a water consistency. Okay. So you get all that smoked flavor from the wood chips and that into the ice itself. Um, so what that does when you put it into the cocktail, it uh, gives it a more of a smoky flavor as it melts. So your cocktail actually gets oh. more smokier and smokier as the drink goes on. That sounds amazing. Yeah. All right, let's see how this thing comes together. Sure. Um, so what we have here is we have one of our smoked ice cubes. It's a large ice cube. Ooh, that's massive. Yeah. Um, and then what uh, this cocktail consists of, it's uh, got some sweet vermouth, uh, April, and uh, some uh, premium Bombay gin. Okay. So we do about a third and a third of each of the components. So that's the sweet vermouth. That's the sweet vermouth. I'm not familiar with this guy. What is uh, what's the flavors of? So this one is uh, normally in a, a classic Negroni, you would use uh, a Cinzano. This one here is similar to Cinzano, but it's a uh, little lighter, lighter in uh, bitterness. Oh, okay. So it's got more of a kind of citrusy flavor into it. Not quite as bitter. Okay. Uh, so it just makes the drink a little bit sweeter. I pref I prefer it myself. And. All right. And what we do is we uh, we take an orange zest as well, and we just we just cut it off here, and then we light it off. Light it off? Yeah, we make it. Uh, you light it so that you get the oils oh, from the orange. Those are actual matches. Well, yeah. I gotta light it off as a yeah. bartender <laughs> term for throwing it in the drink. No. Whoa. So what you do is you take the orange, you just smoke it to get all those oils out, um, and then once you get that smoke consistency, you'll hold it over, and you'll actually. Whoa. Light it, and then you just rim the grass to get some of that oils onto the glass. And there's your smoked Negroni. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. The work that goes into each of these cocktails is pretty spectacular, and you have a very extensive menu of these, right? We do, yes. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got eight signature cocktails on our menu, this one being the most popular. Um, and yeah, it's, it's gone over really well. Uh, it's, it's been received very well from customers well, uh, for the past week. And, uh, the idea of Smith um, honoring those, those artisans, those craftsmiths who put so much into their work. This truly is a, a work of art. But let's say, for some reason, I'm not in the mood for one of those sorts of cocktails. What if I'm a beer drinker? You've got a pretty special experience for that we too, do, right? We do, yes. Uh, what we've done is we've done all craft beers from across Canada. Um, so we've really kind of focused in, on that craftsmiths of, that we're offering here at Smith. Um, so we've got, a quite, we've got 12 different taps on beer, all crafted uh, from across Canada. Uh, I, and then as well, as well as well in bottles as well. Nice. Uh, and we, yeah, can we mention uh, the wine just quickly again? Yes, uh, the wine dispenser. So what we have there is um, we offer uh, 15 different wines by the glass, uh, varied in price points. Uh, with our wine machine here, uh, you can hold these bottles up to about a month to a month and a half. Uh, in the machine, so it gives you a chance to try some different uh, different price points of wine. You can go from an $8 glass all the way up to a $32 glass of wine. Excellent, giving us the chance to try those types that we just want to be able to order a whole bottle of. Jason, exactly. thank you so yeah, much. No problem, thank you. Uh, hey, if you want to come meet Jason and the other folks here at Smith, go to the BT website, breakfasttelevision.ca. We have the information to connect you with this restaurant. We've seen the cocktails. Coming up next time you see us on Breakfast Television, we'll be showing you some of the food on the menu here at Smith.